Hi, and welcome to Fairview Range Focus. I'm David Hall. Today we're going to talk about job care and employee health department at Fairview Range. And I am joined by Lori Manny, who is an RN, and she is the supervisor for Fairview Range Job Care. So welcome. Thank you. Um, so first, uh, people always enjoy hearing about who you are, who the guests are and stuff. So tell us a little bit about your background and uh, kind of what led you to Fairview, how long you've been there and so forth. Okay. Well, I've been part of the organization for roughly 21 years. Okay. So I have had many different positions, starting off with being a medical staff, staff secretary and working in the business office, urgent care, infusion, those types of things. Okay. And um, so I've been with job care a total of seven years, and the last two years being the supervisor. Okay. Mm -hmm. So job care, now I think a lot of people are going to hear that and think, well, now what does that do? They may not have encountered that. So tell us a little bit, what is job care? Okay. Job care is an occupational health department. So we provide services for different companies for their employees um, that need physicals or drug testing or pre-employment screens, those types of services. Okay, okay. So does the employer pay uh, for the service or does the employee have to pay for it? The employer pays, pays for the service. Okay. So they would give us a call and say they'd like to have someone come in for a drug test or a pre-employment screen. We would set that all up okay. for them. So do you must you have contracts with um, businesses or employers? We do kind of set up a contract with them. So okay. depend on the services that they'd like, we will set it up to meet their needs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing you have more than um, a couple of people that work in the department or work with you. Yes. So tell us a little bit who, what kind of positions are within the department okay. and what they do. We have 10 employees in our uh, job care positions. Okay. I have four that are off-site, that work off-site. They'll go to the company's place. Um, we also have uh, two LPNs. I have one RN. I have a, a job care assistant who runs the front desk and the job care specialist who does like the billing and different things with the contracts. Okay. Now you, you said off-site. Yes. So what does that mean? When you say off-site, well we have a mobile trailer. Okay. Okay, so our mobile tra trailer provides services just like we have in our office, but we bring that service to the different companies. Oh, well, that okay. must be a huge advantage for it's them. It's a then. huge advantage, yeah. yes. We've had that mobile trailer for around 14 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you take it all over? We take it all over. We've taken as far as um, Silver Bay. We have gone to International Falls on an annual basis. So kind of through the whole northern Minnesota area. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Good. We covered all the positions. We covered all the okay. positions. One thing I'd like to mention though is that we work very closely with our occupational therapists. So we have two gals that will come over and we provide uh, physical screens in our building as well. Okay. All right. So is there any special training or certifications that, um, that you or staff have or, or need to have to mm -hmm. do this work? We do. We have um, DOT, DOT certifications to perform the DOT drug tests. And what is DOT? Uh, Department of Transportation. Okay. Yes. And breath alcohol testing. We do every five years get certified um, down at the university for our hearing and also for spirometry. So refresher courses are usually a couple days, but it's very intense the first five days if you're a new employee okay. that you go. It's really important for us to know um, how to deliver a hearing test and how to educate the employee and the employer okay. with those types of tests. Okay. So when you say that the uh, um, certification for hearing, um, it's to be able to administer a hearing test. Yes, okay. administer and having the background, yes, okay. to identify any issues and... Okay. It's called a hearing um, conservationist. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, what kind of equipment do you use for the hearing test? Do you have any special equipment? Yes, we just purchased actually brand new Next audiometers. So those are very up to date and um, very good equipment. So we download or excuse me, upload the information once we perform the test. So for going off site to perform a hearing test, uh, all the tests are are done in the trailer, mm -hmm. we bring the equipment back, we upload the information, and it prints off a report, an individual report for each one of the employees. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we provide the employer documentation that shows if they, this, this is their baseline test. Um, we do a lot of annual testing with that as well, so then each year 
when they have their hearing tests. It will show whether they've had any type of changes in their hearing, any shifts, which means that they've had some kind of a issue going on with their hearing. Mm -hmm. um, so they can manage that and they can make sure that their safety sensitive positions are taken care of um, if, you know, it resolved if there's extra noise that shouldn't be in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens if somebody has a hearing test, maybe on the annual basis or something, and there's mm -hmm. some that looks like some, something significant going on, is there further testing? Do you refer them or? We absolutely refer them. We will get a hold of them um, and let them know personally what the issue might be and let them know that they need to follow with their primary pr physician. Okay, so. Or an audiologist or someone sure. so they have further testing because these are basically screenings and we have found significant issues with s tests that we have provided in the past. So, and we've had a lot of, um, a few different people and companies are coming back to us and telling us thank you for finding this and, 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 and it actually saves them, you know, sure. a benefit of some sort in right. a, an employee's well, health. Well, like you said, it's from a screen standpoint, so then the, the employer, individual, I mean, they've got to be greatly appreciative yeah. of finding out that, oh, maybe I've got something that needs to be mm -hmm. taken care of yes. or maybe it's a medication or treatment mm -hmm. of some sort. So. An employee, thank you for providing that. Mm. I would have not known that if I didn't have these tests, which they can thank their employer for that too because they're providing that service for them. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned spirometry. Yes. What is that? That measures your lung function. Okay. So we do a lot of fit testing um, in our department and because, you know, there's even for our own employees, uh, we have to have annual fit testing. But fit testing is to kind of protect you from any of the airborne diseases or particles floating around in the air or gases or vapors, those types of substances. And the spirometry, what that does, it, it kind of tells you um, how your lung function is, how much air you can take in, how much of the air you're blowing out. And if there's any significant problems or uh, that can be identified with that screening, you know, we want to make sure they're safe to wear their respirator because as you know, your heart and your lungs is what works. Mm -hmm. And if you're a negative pressure respirator, will make you work harder mm -hmm. and make your heart and lungs work harder. So okay. we want to make sure that they're safe wearing that. So that's why we perform the spirometry. Okay. If there is a significant um, problem or something that is questionable, uh, the employee is notified and we refer them to onto a provider. I'd like to mention though that we do work very closely with our Fairview providers, our physicians, and um, Dr. Versich, I'd mm -hmm. like to mention him because mm -hmm. he's very a big part of job care. He reviews all of our testing. Okay. And so annually when he reviews all the testing too, he can kind of look back the year before sure. for this person. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all his patients, it's just that he's reviewing those tests and then he will make um, recommendations mm -hmm. for us to follow through with what he's suggesting. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's very, very nice. We have several providers that um, we have that we use, utilize. Mm -hmm. Good. So um, just to, let's make sure, I want to make sure everybody understands when mm -hmm. you say fit testing, yes. what is being fit? The, um, a mask, a respirator, okay. Okay. yes. So there's several different types of respirators. We have an N95 respirator and that's um, just a little, you know, kind of covers your nose and your mouth. Mm -hmm. There is a half face respirator and that one is more of a rubber mask around your face and it has cartridges or heavier filters on the side. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a papper and that one provides air to you. Okay. You know, it kind of has a little machine on the back that you have and has a hood mm -hmm. and then it blows the particles away from you. So depending on the need, and if there's a restriction from someone having to wear a negative pressure respirator, they would have them wear the PAPR because it doesn't affect your heart and lungs as much as it would okay. doing it breathing it yourself. And, and these are types of masks that are, are used in industrial purposes? Industrial pur purposes, yes. Okay. And we use, we fit test all of our employees too to protect them. Clinic. Yes, okay. to protect them and the clinic to protect them from any airborne diseases that they might come in contact with. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, very good. Yep. Um, so you, we talked about the companies they're serving and, and sounds like there's probably quite a few. How, how many companies we do you serve? We service about 60 companies. 60. Wow. Yes, we service about 60 companies. Um, we might have a company that needs us one time a year. Uh, we might have a company that would like us to come out a couple times, uh, maybe to do a health fair. 
you know, where we go out and we'll do blood pressures, um, do, uh, they're called LDXs, they're lipid profile testing. It's a screening where we can check the lipids, uh, your cholesterol, mm -hmm. um, and the blood sugar. So that's really fun to do. We really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. really enjoy doing health fairs and and what's really important now this time of year too we have a lot of companies that call us to come to their location and we provide them flu shots oh okay. so that's a huge huge you do, thing do a large group at once we or? can do a large group at once okay. yes mm -hmm. Good. so we've been we have uh, many companies that have us come to their site every year to do a flu shot so mm -hmm. that's starting in october okay flu season is yeah, not far it's away right is around it? the corner yeah yeah, yeah. um so 60 companies is a lot. Yes. Um, I mean, are you, can you do more? I mean, can you provide services to more companies? Or? Yes, okay. we, per, we can provide services. We really um, like to get them on the schedule, mm -hmm. uh, the ones who are here annually. So we always contact them and say, it's about that time again. And they're like, oh, great. So we get things set up. Um, but yes, it's a matter of just giving us a call and we can provide those services. We have plenty of staff to do that. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, what a tremendous advantage for the trailer. I mean, to be a, go to the job site, I mean, not only yes. for the company, but yes. I mean, for the employees that wouldn't otherwise might have to travel or something to it. Right, so, and that's, yeah. that's very good for the employer because it, they're just a short amount of time that they're away from right. their job. Okay. Yeah, good mm -hmm. point. Yep. Yep. So we mentioned that the companies in northern Minnesota, do you go beyond northern Minnesota? We have. We have um, traveled as far as Detroit Lakes before, okay. so, but okay. we have in, in Silver Bay. That's pretty much the farthest that we have gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you mentioned a little bit about um, working with some other, other providers. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Versich was yes. one. Um, yes. Do you work with other clinics as well, or just Fairview clinics, or? Just our Fairview clinics. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, we've worked with Nashwalk provider of Fairview and Mountain Iron, but basic, basically Hibbing. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, very good. Yes. Um, so you mentioned the, the medical, um, or the mobile medical trailer, yes. um, and now does it serve the community in any other way? Do you utilize it for okay. other yes, purposes? Yes, we could do the same thing. We can hold health fairs. We've um, have done uh, several of those in the past and where we bring out our trailer and we set it all up and you know kind of like a fair event okay you know we've been at the fair before too with our trailer okay um, we service uh, the fire departments and which is really great um, I just think with the the type of work that they do it's important for their annual fire brigade assessments mm -hmm. and so what's nice about us taking our trailer to their site is that if they get a call they can just leave come back and we can finish what we're doing okay good mm -hmm. and I'm guessing that uh, whether it's a uh, industrial uh, employer or a fire department mm -hmm. that the the um, testing is required that these are our requirements put upon them by other parties uh, mm -hmm. the state or other agencies mm -hmm. Um, they aren't just things they're making up. Is right. That, would that Correct. be accurate? Yes, okay. yes. Um, annually, they should have uh, a fit test for the SCBA mask, their self-contained breathing apparatus. The fire departments? The fire okay. departments, yes. Okay. They, we, they have EKGs. They have the pulmonary function or the spirometry test. They also have um, a urine test. Not a drug test. It's just a dipstick urine to look at protein in, in their urine or glucose in their urine. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then a health history just to make sure that they are maintaining. That goes right along with all the other regulations and things that they have to have. Okay. And you, do you do a lot of work with fire departments in the area or a lot of fire we, departments? We do. We oh. have several fire departments. Our busy times for most of them are usually March through May. Okay. Mm -hmm. For their testing? Yes, for their testing, yes. We're okay. very busy traveling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you mentioned DOT. Department of Transportation yes. and physicals. I know you do a lot of those. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about that. What is well, that Well, um, Jay Hildebrandt is our chiropractor at the Plaza Building where we're located. Okay. And he does our, he's certified to do all of our DOT, Department of Transportation um, physicals. I see. That's where someone gets a, a, a DOT card so they can drive their trucks or their transportation vehicles. And usually they're recertified every I want to say first or one or two years, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. So yes, he does a lot, and and uh, there's been a lot of re different changes and requirements for DOTs. So um, we're fortunate to have him. Now, um, 
if I'm not mistaken, do truck drivers, over the road truck drivers, have to have a DOT physical? Yes. Okay. Yes. And how yes. often is that every year or? Well, it depends. It pen, depends on their health history. Okay. And their, you know, uh, their testing. Um, but every year or every two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is that something that's done by a scheduled appointment or they can just walk in for? Yes, they, they usually schedule an appointment because okay. um, Jay's appointments are scheduled so we work him work mm -hmm. with him on that. Mm -hmm. But usually you can get in the same day or the next day. So we have a lot of people, hey, my DOT card is expired. I'd like to get in. And we're like, okay, we work you in. Okay. It usually is a one, maybe two day delay to get an appointment with us okay. at our site. Um, sometimes that is just because we have we work with our occupational therapists and they might have to work their schedule to complete like a physical screen but for the majority of the times it's we can get people in pretty pretty quick mm -hmm. okay um, and the hours of job care what our you? hours are from 7 in the morning till 3 30 okay. usually we take our last appointment at 3 15 if there's a company that needs to have special times then we're always willing to adjust that to meet their needs. Okay, and I know we kind of touched on, um, I think there's been mentioned about pre-employment testing. So yes. do, you, do you do a lot of pre-employment testing and what, what would that be in, involve? Okay, I'll kind of explain that a little bit. Um, our pre-employment testing, a pro, uh, an employer calls and says, I have a new hire for my company. And what we do is we have um, like a database and we have all the requirements that they want f fulfilled during that appointment. Okay. So the person will come in, they might have a drug test, a urine drug test, um, they will have like a health history form filled out. We will do vision testing on them, hearing testing on them, um, fit testing on them if they need that. If they have a physical screen, depending on that company, um, there's different degrees and levels of different testing that they have. Mm -hmm. So we pro provide that in our garage area, it's all set up. Okay. Um, and so once that testing is done, if it's required to go to the physician, we will send it off. All the testing will go to Dr. Versich, he'll review it. He'll make his recommendation and say, yes, they're cleared. Um, and then what we do is we send a notice, notice to the employer that they have met all these requirements and they are cleared for their position. If there's anything that comes up medically that we find or in any of their testing, um, we will notify the employer and then we specify that we will in detail let the employee know and then recommend follow-up and then we would just have them be cleared by their medical doctor okay and it works so, uh, very very nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of companies utilize drug screening yes. uh, from a pre-employment standpoint is that becoming more common or is it not very common it's or? very common very common we do drug testing pretty much all day long um, and if they aren't able to come to our site at the plaza they will go to the hospital lab Okay. and have their testing if it's a post-accident, sometimes okay. pre-employments if need be, mm -hmm. but we do a lot of drug testing and ours are all send outs. We do what does not that mean? Do, what do you say? Meaning that we collect the urine at our facility and we send it to a lab to be tested. Okay. We do not do instant testing where we visually look to see if we, you know, if it's negative or positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, and I've understood that there was a lot of testing when it comes drug screen testing, pre-employment, post-accident, and things of that nature. Yes, as well. yes. Okay. We do a lot of testing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, again, touched on a little bit but employee health issues, and um, it sounds like you do a lot of employee health from a pre-employment work. Yes. Is there other employee health activities or services that you provide? We do. We provide all their vaccines. So if an employee it needs to have an updated hepatitis B, an updated Tdap, or a, a MMR or varicella, they can just give us a call and we will check their records and provide that for them. Okay, I understood a couple of things you just said, uh, but not all of them. <laughs> yes. Um, MMR is? Mumps, measles, rubella. Thank you. Yes. And what was the other one? Is? Varicella is your chicken pox. Okay. So, right. And we provide a lot of titers too, so if someone's had uh, or they don't have their record, when they come in, we will provide them with a titer. It's a lab draw. Okay. And that will let us know if they have immunity or not. And if okay. they have immunity, that's good. If they don't, well, then they will have a vaccine. Okay. So we treat our employees just like we do our external customers. You know. So the, our being the Fairview our, employees? Our, the Fairview employees, okay. yes. Okay. So we want to make sure that they're all up to date because we need to protect you know, all of our patients. Mm -hmm. 
and everyone. So somebody who comes to work for Fairview, mm -hmm. they're going to come to job care early on in pre-employment work or screening? Yes, and, yes. Okay. So um, they'll go through the HR process. They will come to us for their um, pre-employment drug screen. And then once that is cleared, then they will um, come and have their pre-work their pre -work screen okay. assessment with us. Okay. Yep. So they'll be all ready to go. It's kind of nice. You get to meet every new employee. I every love meeting every new employee. Yes, <laughs> we have a very dynamic team. Good. Yeah, yeah. we enjoy I know you it. Do. Mm -hmm. I know you do. Well, is there anything else about job care that you'd like to share that we haven't touched on at all? Or? Well, I'd like to say that we are one-stop shop. Okay. Okay. So, um, you, all you need to do is pick up the phone, call us, and let us know what your needs are, and we will provide that for you. All right. You do not have to go anywhere else. Nice. Mm -hmm. And. So how would they contact you? What is there a particular phone number? Or? Yes, our phone number is 218-312-3017. And that will just bring you right to our front desk. Okay, mm -hmm. 3017. I think we'll probably get that on the bottom of the screen here for anybody yeah, who wants yeah. to, to utilize that. So yeah. uh, mm -hmm. they call that number and that gets them right to job care and they can get answers to their questions or They'll schedule get, appointments and things. Yes. All right, very good. Yes. Well, I know you have a very busy department. Yes. And, uh, it's exciting to, to think about providing services to that many companies all over northern Minnesota and helping them mm -hmm. do their work um, that they're doing. So that's, that's We enjoy great. that. So we love providing the educational pieces along with the testing. That's what makes us unique. Right. You know, right. so, yeah. Awesome. It's great. Well, thank you, Lori. Um, thank you. We're about out of time. Um, okay. Great job. Thank you so much okay. for your time and uh, telling us more about job care and the okay. services that you provide. Um, it's a great service, I know it is. Yeah, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed uh, Fairview Range Focus today and learning more about job care and employee health services. So again, thank you to Lori Manny uh, for joining me today and uh, I hope you'll watch next month for another segment of Fairview Range Focus. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hibbing Public Access Television would like to thank U.S. Bank for providing us with studio space.